हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू टू दिस अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ फिजिक्स वाला इंग्लिश सो गाइस टुडे विल बी डूइंग एलिप्स एंड लाइक जस्ट लाइक सर्कल दिस इज आल्सो हैविंग टू मच इंपॉर्टेंस इन द कॉर्डेट सेक्शन बिकॉज द इन एलिप्स व्हाट आई इज दैट यू आर गोइंग टू हैव मिक्स्ड क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स लाइक स्ट्रेट लाइन सर्कल पैराबोला दीज कंसेप्ट्स विल बी आल्सो इन्वॉल्व वाइल डूइंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एलिप्स दे कैन आस्क कॉमन टेंजेंट ऑफ एलिप्स हाइपरबोला एलिप्स सर्कल एलिप्स पैराबोला they can ask uh, like a normal to one curve is tangent to the other one so there are so many varieties here but for j main it's like uh, the kind of the kind of problem they are, they are asking is is fixed the one variety where they will uh, ask about ec uh, eccentricity okay they will give some information and by which we have to find eccentricity or some a or b value the second variety is where they will ask about tangent and normal that's all in j main there is not much varieties from ellipse okay so let's start the session so what basically we are going to do today we'll start with the theory first i'll let you through entire theory of ellipse chapter entire theory starting from uh, definition to the important properties i'll let you through the entire properties and then we'll be doing problems the pyqs right previously what we were doing we were doing uh, uh, questions and concepts simultaneously so today it's for an experiment let's see like uh, i i'll do theory first and then we'll be solving all the previous year problems okay so starting now so this is the de a definition of ellipse general equation of ellipse with focus alpha beta and uh, eccentricity e with directrix given lx plus my plus n equal to 0 is given by this okay so this is basically the common relation ps by pm equal to e this is a general definition of conic ps by pm equal to e now this particular equation will simplify into something this x square 2xxy this general equation in second degree so for this equation if this is representing an ellipse then what are the condition delta will be non zero and h square will be less than ab okay delta will be non zero and h square will be uh, will be less than ab and if h is equal to zero then a will not be equal to b so basically if you don't have x into y term a and b which should not be equal because if h is 0 and a is not equal to b that will become that will become circle okay so this is the general definition fine then how do we find the, the that standard ellipse so what we assume we are going to assume uh, vertex focus everything here you see we are going to assume focus at something a a e comma 0 we'll assume focus here and then we'll assume one directrix this is one directrix which is uh, a by e comma 0 right and then for any point for any point h comma k we'll write ps1 is equal to e times pm1 this one this is how we define this is how we find the uh definition this is how we find equation of any curve right so ps ps 1 is equal to e times pm1 eccentricity of uh, ellipse is going to be something between 0 to 1 okay so when you solve ps1 equal to e times pm1 this is what you get and we assume this quantity as b square this quantity assumed as b square you can see it here so this is the first relation that you should know the first one is the first one is this b square is equal to a square times 1 minus e square now eccentricity of ellipse is between 0 to 1 so definitely b is going to be less than a here you can see here this is a square into 1 minus e square so b is going to be less than a not e b is going to be less than a now this is a second degree equation with powers of an x y both even and hence symmetric about both the x and y axis you can see here we have uh, this is the final this is the final definition x this is the final equation x square by a square y square b square equal to 1 we have we have equal even powers of x and y okay we have equal even powers of x and y so so the curve will be symmetric about x and y axis both fine now there are some general terminology which we should know here the first thing that we can understand this relation between b and a and from here we can derive relation between eccentricity also this will be equal to 1 minus b square by a square right and we can see a is 
greater than b is here a is greater than b here okay so for this ellipse for this ellipse you see we have two focus a e minus a comma zero this is the center this is the vertex what will be vertex a comma zero and this is the other vertex minus a comma zero now this is this is photo of directrix which is a by e comma zero and this is the other photo of directrix which is minus a by e comma zero okay this is center this is focus s1 and s2 is focus this is vertex right so i'll keep on writing all of these informations center is 0 comma 0 vertex vertex is plus minus a comma 0 then focus focus is plus minus a e comma 0 what else directrix directrix equation will be x equal to plus minus a by e right so these are the uh, the basic things here and again if you find out length of lattice rectum you just join this so length of lattice rectum guys length of lattice rectum will be equal to 2b square by a here like from here you can see we can write the foot of coordinates here this is a comma zero so a line which is perpendicular to this axis okay now also for this ellipse guys uh, a is greater than b right so this type of ellipse is called horizontal ellipse this type of ellipse will be called horizontal ellipse where a is greater than b a is greater than b this is called horizontal ellipse also 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 right this is this is what this is the is the length of lattice rectum here if you write end points of length of uh, end points of lattice rectum this will be a e comma minus b square by a and this will be a e comma plus b square by a these are length end points of lattice rectum okay so length of lattice rectum is 2b square by a what else you should know here length of major axis length of major axis so the line through which the line which is passing through focus like this particular line this line is this line is major axis okay this line is major axis here and this line will be minor axis this line is major axis this line is minor axis now what else we need to know here guys what else what else this is the this is minor axis and this is major axis what else what else this is the center the center c this is the vertex plus minus a comma zero this is any random point p okay and we have uh, all these points here so this is end point of minor axis what is that that will be zero comma b and zero comma minus b and obviously everything is being written with respect to x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 everything every information here is written with respect to this where we have b square is equal to a square times 1 minus e square also b here is less than a so we have formula of e also eccentricity that is 1 minus b square by a square so length of major axis will be equal to 2a and length of minor axis length of minor axis here will be equal to 2b length of minor axis will be equal to 2b this length like this the length this is the minor axis okay if we talk about any diameter of this curve so if any line if any chord which is passing through center right like this is a diameter here if it is passing through if it is passing through where center this is the diameter any chord which is passing through center will be diameter for the ellipse okay so moving on guys moving on so the length of major axis here is 2a minor axis length will be 2b vortex center focus directric length of lattice rectum is 2b square by a some uh, few things that you must observe that center is center is midpoint of both focus both vortex and both foot of directrix you can see 
सेंटर हियर ओके सेंटर इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस फोकस मिड पॉइंट ऑफ वॉट एक्स मिड पॉइंट ऑफ फूट ऑफ डायरेक्टर ऑल्सो ले से दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट हियर इज पी लेट मी से दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट इज सपोज ए ओके एंड दिस पॉइंट इज समथिंग डी वन फूट ऑफ डायरेक्ट्रिक्स द फूट ऑफ डायरेक्ट्रिक्स आई एम कॉलिंग इट डी वन एंड दिस इज एस वन द फर्स्ट फोकस एस वन ना जस्ट सी द रेशियो इज वॉट इज द रेशियो हियर ए एस वन वॉट विल बी ए एस वन डिवाइड बाई ए डी वन वॉट इज दैट रेशियो सो ए एस वन लेंथ इज ए माइनस ए डिवाइड बाई वॉट इज ए डी वन नाउ ए डी वन इज ए बाई ई माइनस ए राइट सो वॉट इज दैट थिंग कमिंग आउट यू सी यू टेक एल्सियम दिस इज ए माइनस ए so this is coming out to be e is to 1 can you see this a minus a this e will go into numerator a minus a will cancel out so this ratio is coming out to be e is to 1 so can i say that that the vertex is dividing vertex is dividing line joining focus and foot of directrix corresponding line joining corresponding focus and foot of directrix internally in the ratio e is to 1 right this is the important information this will help you in finding out sometimes equation of an ellipse okay so this equation is important okay so the vertex is dividing line joining focus s1 and d1 focus and photo directrix in the ratio e is to 1 okay this is also one important information then apart from that what we can say like distance between focus right distance between focus distance between focus will be always 2 ae irrespective of uh, the form of ellipse right i i mean horizontal form in general we can always take it as 2 ae okay distance between focus obviously for the vertical ellipse it will be 2 be but your distance between focus is 2 ae fine now for this horizontal ellipse if distance between focus is 2 ae now what is distance between what is distance between between focus and corresponding directrix distance and focus bit, distance between focus and corresponding directrix will be a by e minus a now all these things are going to be useful right nothing is being written here useless nothing is here useless here everything you are going to use it somewhere now this is one more thing which i want to write here about this ellipse system here one more thing one more thing which i want to write so so apart from uh, all these information that what is written can you can you see this uh, length of lattice rectum which is 2b square by a now there is one more way to see it you see b square what is b square a square 1 minus c square this is 2b square a square into 1 minus c square divided by a so this a will cancel out now if i take e out okay so can i write it as 2 into e into a by e minus if i multiply this a inside so a by e minus a e now what is that what is that just look at just look at this expression guys just look at this expression so can i say that length of lattice rectum is nothing but twice of eccentricity into distance between what is a by e minus e that is distance between focus and directrix distance between focus and directory so can i say that length of lattice rectum is also equal to is also equal to twice of distance between distance between focus and corresponding directrix multiplied by eccentricity right sometimes in exam they can give you question in this way also right this is also very important important thing that you should know right because major axis minor axis that those are two obvious things this is something new which some of you might not have heard of okay so length of lattice rectum is also equal to twice of eccentricity multiplied by distance between focus and corresponding directrix clear now let's move to the next part so guys i told you there are two uh, standard ellipses we that we deal with one which is horizontal ellipse when we have uh, like this type of shape 
so here a will be greater than b the other where we have vertical ellipse where a will be like for this one b will be greater a will be less than b so for this vertical ellipse a will be less than b for horizontal ellipse a will be greater than b okay moving on. so guys now that we have seen that we have like uh, we have to deal with two different types of ellipse one is horizontal the other one is uh, vertical so this is one like small comparison between horizontal and vertical you can see for horizontal vertex is plus minus a for vertical zero comma plus minus b like just keep in mind like this horizontal ellipse where a is greater than b and this is the vertical ellipse where b is greater than a so for horizontal the vertex center is zero comma zero focus is plus minus a directrix is a by e plus minus a by e sum of focal distance is 2a let us assume 2b square is b square equal to a square minus a square e square but for vertical ellipse you will have Well, uh, this vertex zero comma plus minus b, center zero comma zero, zero comma plus minus b, plus minus b by e, two b. Because what happens that in case of vertical ellipse, the major axis length becomes two b, minor axis length becomes two a. Or opposite, in horizontal ellipse, major axis will be two a, minor axis will be two b, and that is for how these results also change. Right? Sum of focal distance is always equal to length of major axis. So this is some small comparison. And you should remember all the results, especially for like length of lattice rectum, the type of result which many students get confused. So remember these comparison, and now let's move forward, guys. There is one more definition, guys. Whatever is written, I'll I'll explain, but I'm not going to read it. Okay, this looks like some perpendicular distance. This also looks like some perpendicular distance. So what exactly is that? Let me show you. Let me show you. Let's draw an ellipse here. Let's draw an ellipse. Okay, right. So we write this ellipse as something x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to one. So what I am going to give you here, I am going to give you one more way to look at this definition. See what is happening? What is happening? Like if you assume any point as x comma y here, so what is this distance? This distance will be y, and what is this distance? This is x. So, and what is this? This is major axis for us. This is major axis, and this one is minor axis. So basically, we are having two perpendicular lines, right? These two lines will be always perpendicular. So we are having two perpendicular lines, so major axis, minor axis. So can I say? Can I say one thing here? Can I say this? That this x is nothing but x is nothing but distance from minor axis. right distance from minor x whole square divided by this a is major axis so i can write semi major axis whole square plus plus distance from this is minor this is major distance from major axis distance from major axis square divided by semi minor axis semi minor axis whole square is equal to 1 this is also how you can see an ellipse equation and that is what exactly is written here these are basically two perpendicular lines you can see l lx okay l is missing here let me this is lx plus my plus n and this is mx minus ly so you can clearly see for both these these two are perpendicular lines and what is it it is distance the perpendicular distance of any point x comma y right so you can visualize it from here now this x square by a square y square by b square is like distance from a minor axis distance from major axis so once if, if you have to visualize this you can clearly do it by understanding that these two will be perpendicular lines and the format the format will help you visualize what exactly you have that here okay moving on guys position of a point right this is inside part that is the outside part so so like for an ellipse x square by a square y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0 for this ellipse like what will be let's say there is a point x and y1 okay let there be point x and y1 so s1 will be equal to x1 square by a square plus y1 square by b square minus 1 this is your s1 expression So if s1 is less than zero, 
that will mean the point is inside and if that s1 is greater than 0 that will mean point is outside okay this means inside this will mean outside s1 just like circle and parabola exactly same less than 0 inside greater than 0 outside fine moving on focal radius so what exactly we have as focal radius see the distance of any point on ellipse from focus will be its focal radius okay so here we have ps1 and ps2 as focal radius here for that particular point p ps1 ps2 are distance from focus that is its focal radius so we, we can see one thing like this ps1 and ps2 distance i see by the definition of ellipse we know that ps1 what is ps1 is e times pm1 so what is pm1 distance what is that pm1 distance can i say that this is a by e right you drop a perpendicular here so this will be h so it will be this pm1 length will be a by e minus h so what is that this is a minus e h right a minus e h similarly if you fire from the other one you will get a plus e h right if i calculate ps2 that will come out a plus e h right this is what we have here. This is A minus E H and this is A plus E H. Now, when you add these two, you have a relation PS1 plus PS2 equal to 2A. Now, that is a standard property of ellipse also. This needs to be remembered as a standard property of horizontal ellipse. What does this property say? Distance of any point. The sum of distance of any point from focus is always going to be equal to major axis. What is 2A here, guys? This 2A here is major axis. This 2A is major axis for that ellipse. So this you need to remember. PS1 plus PS2 is equal to 2A for, uh, for a horizontal ellipse where A is greater than B. And this is also giving you a, one more definition of ellipse. Right? The first definition was uh, PS, uh, PS1 equal to E times PM1. The second one was distance from major axis divided by length square and this is the third one and what is it the definition says that the definition says that guys this is the definition that ellipse is the locus of a point which moves in such a way such that sum of its distances from two fixed points from two fixed points are always a constant this is the definition it is the locus of a point which moves such that distance from two fixed point is constant that constant is length of major axis that constant will be length of major axis and 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 this constant must be greater than the distance between two fixed points obviously guys obviously right because it won't form a system then so this is what we have here ps1 plus ps2 lambda if lambda is greater than it will be ellipse right if it is equal to obviously it will be a line segment right if ps1 plus ps2 is equal to Two way it will be uh, this. Uh, it will be a line segment, and if lambda is less than s one s one s two, clearly that will not form any system because uh, in any triangle the sum of two sides has to be greater than the third side. So there will be no such system formed. So this is what you have to remember for now that P S one plus P S two is equal to two a, and that is definition of ellipse. As a property also, the sum of focal distance will be always constant. That is equal to major axis. Moving on. Auxiliary circle. Now what is it? The definition says that locus of foot of perpendicular drawn from focus upon any tangent. Right? Locus of foot of perpendicular. Now I'll here you'll uh, it will help you visualize. So so see. The auxiliary circle is is having center circle center as the center of ellipse auxiliary circle is concentric with ellipse and the radius is equal to major semi major axis right so this is this is the definition this is the equation x square plus y square equal to a square this is the equation of this is the equation of semi this is the equation of auxiliary circle for that ellipse x square plus y square equal to a square this you can see it's concentric with the ellipse and radius is equal to semi major axis fine also in this you can see 
you can see here you can see like this is also the locus of put off perpendicular drawn from any tangent to focus okay like if i if i draw any tangent to focus let's say this or here like it, it won't be that easy to draw but you can understand from the definition here that is locus of put off perpendicular drawn from focus upon any tangent that will be always lying on auxiliary circle now here are some few things that you should know so if this is auxiliary circle obviously this any random point q will be a cos theta comma a sin theta right a cos theta comma a sin theta and that theta is called eccentric angle right eccentric angle so many students they confuse it with the some point on ellipse no eccentric angle is decided by that circle that auxiliary circle you take any point at a cos theta a sin theta now from that point q we drop a perpendicular on major axis and then we can find out this point p and then this will give us the relation that this will give us the uh, parametric point on this ellipse so see for point p x is same a cos theta x is same a cos theta right so if you put that a cos theta here so you see x square by a square y square by b square equal to 1 so if you replace a cos theta here in this if you replace x with a cos theta guys what will be y y will be b sin theta y needs to be b sin theta so that is what we'll have here and that will give you the parametric coordinate on a circle uh, ellipse okay if you have a centric angle theta you can write the parametric coordinate but remember that theta is not line that theta is not the angle which uh, op is making with x x axis no it is oq the point on auxiliary circle fine let's move move it so this is how, what the parametric coordinates we have a cos theta comma a sin theta that is it okay then moving on this note you can read or it's useless see cord joining two points obviously guys if we have two points on ellipse okay if we have any two points given on ellipse and suppose this is ellipse suppose this is ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 and you have to write equation of this cord and this will be let's say a cos alpha parametric angle is eccentric angle is given so a cos alpha and this will be b sin alpha and here it will be a cos beta comma b sin beta it's very simple to write this is a random chord here with eccentric angle given so we can find out slope and then we can use any point and this is what you are going to get this is what x by a is very easy to remember guys it's very easy to remember you see x is with cos right so x by a cos alpha plus beta by 2 y is with b so sign same thing cos alpha minus beta in rhs it will be alpha minus beta by 2 slightly difficult to remember but like if you write it three four times if you solve few problems related to it you are going to definitely memorize it moving on moving on if this particular chord passes through d comma zero okay let's say this particular chord is passing through any point on x axis major axis d comma zero then this is the relation of tan alpha into tan beta by two with that d and this you can remember because uh, in j main or sometimes in j advanced there has been some problem where tan alpha by 2 tan beta by 2 was given d was asked or d was given something else was asked so it's better if you remember it because from here we can derive one more condition what is that you see you see if pq is a focal chord if that line is passing through focus in that case right and d is equal to ae d equal to a, in that case this will have tan alpha by 2 tan beta by 2 is e minus 1 upon e plus 1 now this is something which i want you to remember because if you remember it it will save your time many times what happens that they, they ask this problem like they ask this type of problems so if you remember the result it will take hardly two seconds okay product of tan alpha by 2 tan beta by 2 will be equal to e minus 1 divided by e plus 1 and if it is passing through d equal to minus a into e the other focus here you will have caught the eccentricity part will remain same either you can remember opposite like caught tan alpha by 2 
tan beta y2 will be e plus 1 upon e minus 1 or like this. Clear? Now let's see. If you have any confusion, then how it is derived? Basically, we are putting these points, no, a comma zero in the previous equation. We are putting these point in this equation, and then we are solving. We'll get it. Clear? Remember it. Remember it. Moving on with the next set of results, which is tangents. The first one is Cartesian form, which is the point form, guys. Now, point form is the simplest because we have already studied that to write tangent at a given point, right? For ellipse, x square by a square, y square by b square equal to one. Okay, if you if you want to write tangent, if the point of contact is known, the method is already known to us. What do we do? Either we differentiate and put points to find slope, like here you you have one method. If point is known, I need slope. So you, what you can do? You can differentiate two x by a square plus y square differentiation two y dy by dx divided by b square equal to 0. So from here you get slope of tangent equal to how much? This will be minus of b square x divided by a square y. This is it. This is slope. Right? And at point x1, y1, so you can replace by x1, y1 here. Or, or the best way, if you have point form, uh, if you have to find tangent in point form, the best way is the shortcut, is the general thing which I have taught you already. That for point form, we replace x square with xx1, y square with y by 1, x is replaced by x plus x1 by 2, y is replaced by y plus y1 by 2, x into y is replaced by x y1 plus yx1 by 2, and constant, there will be no change. So for any second degree equation, this will be sufficient to write tangent at any point of contact that is what we have here so we want tangent at x1 y x1 y1 so x square got replaced by x x1 y square by y y1 constants are as it is so this is the point form of tangent for an ellipse we can write parametric form also easily now for that what we are basically doing we are replacing that x1 y1 with a cos theta b sin theta Right in the previous one, we just replace it with a cos theta. Like here, this x1 and this y1 will get replaced by a cos theta b sin theta. So, this is what you get x cos theta by a y cos of b minus 1 equal to 0 is tangent to ellipse at point a cos theta b sin theta. Clear? There's some more information here. Slope of the tangent, you know what is it? Minus b by cos theta. Point of intersection of the tangents at point alpha and beta. Now, this is something which you should remember. Because in exams, we might have loc locus problems related to point of intersection. Okay, so the diagram is not proper here. Basically, we have been given two, we have been given two parametric points. The tangents are drawn to it. Suppose one point is this. Okay. And this is the other point. Okay, so we have drawn tangents at these points. So this is P alpha and Q beta. And tangents are intersecting at some point. So that point of uh, the intersection is given by this. Cos alpha plus beta by 2, sin alpha plus beta by 2, divided by cos alpha minus beta by 2, cos alpha minus beta by 2. And guys, if you, I think you can relate it very easily. Isn't it the same thing that we had while writing the cot chi equation? Like you can relate. You see, that was what we had cot chi equation. Cos alpha plus beta y by b with sin plus, sin plus beta and cos was there. So it's like we have divided that into LHS. Just a method to remember. Exactly same thing we have. Cos alpha plus beta by 2 divided by cos alpha minus b sin alpha plus beta by So you should be able to remember this. Okay. Because if you have locus problem or if you have even uh, questions where alpha beta is given and you need to find out that, it may take some time. But if you remember the result, you will finish within seconds. And mind it, guys, conic section is all about uh, like remembering. Like this part, uh, remembering results has a major importance in this chapter because there are so many problems which can be finished within seconds with help of some theorems, some properties. And what I've seen, like what students do, they tend to forget these properties, these results. Every time you are not, you will not be uh, able to derive results on spot within time limit right suppose you panic and you have derived the wrong result maybe your 
answer will also definitely it will be wrong so don't do that whatever properties being taught whatever points are being given memorize it this word memorizing doesn't come too often in maths especially like when we are dealing with 11 12 classes I have I have like very few chapters we are like mentioning this the word remember here in conic section it has too much of importance remember the properties remember all results to related to tangents normal otherwise you are going to waste a lot of your time in unnecessary derivation don't do that remember the properties okay moving on slope form now slope form is something which you have to you have to remember at any cost the process is simple that the, the process is exactly what we did in uh, uh, circle and uh, parabola exactly same because that is we we are also we, we are still dealing with second degree curve so if i am saying that y equal to mx plus c is tangent if slope is given and i am saying that y equal to mx plus c is tangent so what is the condition of tangency what exactly is the condition of tangency so we'll solve we'll solve that line with curve you see we assume that y equal to mx plus c is the tangent and we are solving with this ellipse and obviously we are going to get a quadratic you see we have got a quadratic so if discriminant is greater than 0 it will be a secant if d is 0 it will be tangent and d less than 0 it will be neither tangent nor secant and this is the condition which we come across that c square equal to a square m square plus b square and this must be remembered that if you are writing tangent to x square by a square y square b square equal to 1 this is the tangent right obviously there will be two tangents possible that is why we have plus minus sign just like circle right for a given slope m for a given slope m we can draw two tangents right that is why we have plus and minus to represent those two tangents to write those two tangents so this is for ellipse whose center is 0 comma 0 if center is not 0 comma 0 then what to do you see if center is not 0 comma 0 if if ellipse is something this x minus h square by a square plus y minus k square by b square equal to 1 right if center is h comma k if center is h comma k right so this equation of equation of tangent right whose slope is given m will be given by y minus k is equal to m times x minus h plus minus square root of a square m square plus b square this is what needs to be remembered y minus k is equal to m times x minus h plus minus square root of a square m square plus b square you have to remember it at any cost fine so this is the this is the condition of tangency guys for the uh, for ellipse whose center is 0 comma 0 this is a condition of tangency c square equal to a square m square plus b square right and from an external point we can draw two tangents you can see that so how to write tangent from a given external point right so this is it what you do you write equation of tangent and you write the slope form and let it pass through h comma k that that is being done here you can see so we have uh, basically written equation of tangent in slope form and then we are letting it pass through h comma k so when you pass it through any random point h comma k where h comma k is a point of intersection then what happens you see we get a quadratic guys we are getting a quadratic in slope here you can see we are getting a quadratic in slope m here so obviously there are two tangents possible m1 m2 right the quadratic in slope m that we have got will have two roots possible m1 m2 so from this quadratic we can find out sum of products uh, so pro sum of uh, slopes and product of slopes this information can be utilized for one thing if tangents are perpendicular what will happen then if tangents are perpendicular then m1 into m2 what is it that will be definitely minus 1 so there we have the next definition which of director circle that from an external point if the tangents drawn are perpendicular right that point will lie on director circle and and for director circle m1 m2 will be minus 1 so in previous one if you make m1 into m2 minus 1 this is what you are going to have 
एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर राइट अगेन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द रिजल्ट दैट इन द डायरेक्टर सर्कल दिस इज अगेन कॉन्सेंट्रिक विद लिप्स डायरेक्टर सर्कल इज कॉन्सेंट्रिक वॉट इज सेंटर ऑफ दिस डायरेक्टर सर्कल हियर इट इज जीरो कॉमा जीरो एंड वॉट इज इट्स रेडियस वॉट इज इट रेडियस इट इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सेमी मेजर एक्सिस स्क्वायर सेमी माइनर एक्सिस स्क्वायर दैट इज द डायरेक्टर सर्कल डेफिनेशन डायरेक्टर सर्कल कॉन्सेंट्रिक विथ लिप्स एंड रेडियस इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सेमी मेजर स्क्वायर सेमी माइनर स्क्वायर क्लियर and how do we get how do we get it how to derive derive it obviously from an external point we have written we have written uh, equation of tangent of slope m we had passed it through h comma k we squared we got a quadratic in m it will have two roots m and m2 should be minus 1 if the tangents are perpendicular so from there we get this definition x square y square equal to a square plus b square that is direct circle now next thing is writing normal to an ellipse So if you want to write normal to an ellipse x square y square y square b square equal to one, and point of contact is given x and y one, obviously guys you can do it with uh, uh, you have equation of uh, uh, equation of what tangent right? So you have slope of tangent basically. So you have slope of tangent, you will have slope of normal also at that point. So this is how you write it in point form: a square x upon x one, b square y y one equal to a square minus b square. this is highly recommended guys you have to you have to remember it at any cost you have to memorize it at any cost okay so this obviously b square here like we have written that b square is equal to a square minus a square e square so we can replace a square minus b square here with only a square e square also this also helps in some calculation okay how to derive it that you can do on your own you have to remember it at any cost okay if you want to save time remember it guys at any cost okay the parametric form now this is the most used form of normal parametric form right just like in tangent slope form is used most in normal parametric form will be used most okay so what is it the, what is the parametric form you just you need to replace x1 y1 with a cos theta b sin theta so if you replace it this will be ax sec theta By cos of theta equal to a square minus b square. Obviously, theta will not be equal to n pi by two. Okay, remember it. A x sec theta b y cos of theta is equal to a square minus b square. Slope form also we can remember m x minus a square b square m a square plus b square m. Now, if you want to go get into derivation, that is basically comparing slope form and uh, this slope form and parametric form. From there, you will eliminate theta. you get some relation and you can derive it so now slow form is less preferred in the concepts of normal but obviously you have to remember this is conic section this is quadrate geometry every result you have to remember right you will not know what result can be useful at what instant of time but you are supposed to remember everything so the normal slow form normal is mx a square minus b square m divided by a square plus b square m square Now I think you can relate it easily, guys. Okay, if you see, if you see the tangent equation, equation of tangent. This was a square m square, huh? A square m square plus b square. But in normal, it is a square plus b square m square. A square plus b square m square. Okay, difficult to remember, but try to memorize, guys. Okay, slope is m, and this is how we write it. M x minus a square m b square m, a square plus b square m square. so you see here here uh, if you if you let it pass through h comma k and do squaring then they, you will be having a fourth degree equation in slope right if you write, pass it through h comma k you will have a fourth degree equation now if you remember concept of conormal points in parabola exactly the same way you can understand that here there will be four points alpha beta gamma delta right because we are getting a fourth degree equation so we are going to have four normals here there will be and let's say these are the four of conormals then this is the one property that alpha beta gamma delta is odd multiple of pi now this property you can skip also because uh, in j main this property has never been asked yet okay so let's uh, move on guys so see now these three chord of contact pair of tangents and chord with given middle point now this we have done in circle we did in parabola so 
obviously for second degree equation the form is exactly same right the code of contact form is t equal to 0 for pair of tangent we write ss1 equal to t square and for chord with given middle point it is t equal to s1 right so this is a common article for parabola ellipse hyperbola and circle and the type of problem that we deal with is almost similar to what we did in circle and parabola in circle and parabola i have taken so many examples of chord of context so that is why i'm not going to waste time here i'm directly going to start solving problems with uh, like first i'll explain some properties and then let's start solving problems so this t equal to zero guys t equal to zero no what exactly is this so for any point x1 y1 right for any external point x1 y1 so this line joining point of contact so this a b this a b is the chord of contact and uh, suppose ellipse is x square by a square plus y square b square minus 1 equal to 0 so for this form of ellipse the, def the equation of uh, is given by this this is chord of contact similarly if you want to write combined equation of tangent p and tangent p b that is given by s is 1 equal to t square so this is the expression t minus 1 equal to 0 s you are already aware this is s and what is s1 when you put point x1 y1 here that is expression s1 so this is how we write these three and i think i don't need to spend much time here explaining these concepts because we have practiced a lot of problems guys in circle and parabola if you have problem with chord of contact funda just watch circle and parabola lecture you will understand moving on to the last point which is uh, the important points in hyperbola uh, sorry ellipse important points in ellipse you have to go through you have to understand every single property you have to memorize at least okay see proving is not required because this is a crash course we are not going to prove everything here but what i expect that you are going to remember every single bit of it <coughs> sorry you are going to remember every single property here the first one starting with the easiest like if p be the any point then sp plus sp dash is 2a so instead of this i'll write sp plus s dash p equal to length of major axis this is what i'll write because this 2a is for what this 2a this 2a will be wrong this not right 2a here this is basically major axis okay for horizontal ellipse it will be 2a but for vertical it will become 2b so sp plus s dash p will be equal to major axis length which is 2a the second point is the product of this you can read it everything here the in short the in short the property which you should remember from here is this for any tangent guys for any tangent let's say you have draw you have drawn perpendiculars from both focus so let it be p1 and p2 okay from both focus you have drawn tan you have drawn uh, tan uh, you have drawn foot of perpendicular uh, to some random tangent p1 and p2 are the length so this p1 into p2 this p1 into p2 is equal to b square or you can say semi minor axis semi minor axis square this is what you need to remember p1 into p2 is equal to semi minor axis square that's it this is the only thing which you need to remember from this section which is if you have any random tangent drawn at certain point p on the ellipse then you draw two uh, then, then you uh, like you you have two lengths p1 and p2 which are length of perpendicular from both focus s and s dash then this length p1 into p2 will be equal to semi minor axis square that it this is what you need to remember and one more thing obviously we know the locus guys what is the locus the locus of photo perpendicular will be on auxiliary circle that we already have seen moving with the next one this is a derivation you can go through it the portion of the tangent to an ellipse between the point of contact and the matrix that will subtend right angle see so this is the ellipse this is the matrix so let's say this is some tangent so this time portion of tangent which is intercepted between point of contact and this this angle will be 90 degree this angle will be 90 degree okay 
the port the length of tangent which is intercepted between point of contact and the point where it is the intersecting directrix that will subtend right angle at focus okay moving on with the next property harmonic mean of two segments of any focal chord is always constant which is equal to semi lattice rectum this property we already have seen in parabola right harmonic mean of focal length segment like for any ellipse here if i draw any ellipse let's say this is any random focal chord here this is s p q okay so harmonic mean of segments of any focal chord is always constant so what is it so twice of sp into sq divided by sp plus sq is equal to semi lattice rectum which is b square by this is the property right 2 sp sq divided by 2 bc divided by b plus is equal to a that is b square by a which is the semi lattice rectum clear moving on to the next property which is the tangent normal at point p on the list between the external and between this refers to the well known reflection property guys this is the reflection property so what happens that if any ray which is passing through focus okay so after reflection through surface of the ellipse it will pass through the other focus okay or this is also well known as uh, the tangent the tangent is dividing the angle between the tangent will be dividing the angle between these two lines okay similarly normal will be also dividing angle between like the incident and this reflected ray okay what one more thing we should be known uh, or if you want to prove it guys basically we can show that this s dash n and ns is equal to this ps dash divided by ps that is what we can show if you want to prove it if you want to prove this property this is what you can show that ps dash okay ps dash divided by ps will come out to be equal to s dash and divided by n times ns this length so there is a reflected ray this is the uh, incident light ray this is what you need to remember that after reflecting through one focus it will pass through the other focus the same goes for the other focus also you pass it through one focus after reflection through the surface it will pass through the other focus clear so don't go for the proving guys just remember it just remember it okay moving on to the other okay guys so let's see few more important properties so the first one here is the circle on any focal distance as diameter will touch auxiliary circle now guys this is about focal distance okay so you see like like in this in this diagram so this is us this is uh this is we have a ellipse here so focal distance so let's say this is focus s and this is some point r so if i if i if i draw a circle considering rs as diameter so that is going to touch auxiliary circle at some point this is a property you can prove it also because r is a general point so you can take it as a parametric point then s is focus so write circle in diametric form and solve it with your uh, auxiliary circle you will see that you have only one point in common now what i want to what i want to uh, like uh, what you have to remember from here like what exactly the questions will be asked it will be given in the exam like this is passing through this is touching a fixed curve like the statement will be like this uh, the circle has been drawn and it is touching a fixed curve so in the options you have to look for it is uh, this the equation of auxiliary circle that is a fixed curve will be equation of auxiliary circle for that ellipse okay so this is one property the second one circle drawn with intercept of tangents between tangents and vertex as diameter will pass through focus very very important property many students what they do they tend to ignore this property right they think that this is only important for advance but even in j main even in 2021 there has been one problem which is directly based on this property so what is the question here? what is the property here you draw any random tangent and consider the intercept which is between tangents at vertex so t1 this is tangents at vertex so t1 t2 is that intercept so if t1 t2 is considered as diameter and then you draw a circle it will pass through s and s dash the focus of that ellipse very important guys very very important don't even think of ignoring this property okay next one is 
minimum length of pq where pq is any random tangent so pq is what pq is the intercept of tangent between axes between coordinate axes so the minimum length of pq possible will be a plus b again we can prove it using trigonometry there is some amgm concept used but you can prove it okay remember it minimum length of intercept will be a plus b and this one also even this is also very important when you do application of derivative there you will definitely prove it that if these two curves intersect at 90 degree if these two given ellipse are orthogonal okay so this one equal to one is missing so if these two curves are intersecting at 90 degree then a square minus a square will be equal to b square minus b square how exactly you prove it you will see in application derivative so all these properties including the previous one are very very important so guys let's let's move forward let's solve all the previous equations and i'll show you that the problems has been very very basic and you are going to solve almost everything of it without any external support so let's start solving let theta be the acute angle between the tangents to the ellipse and this at their point of intersection in the first quadrant okay in the first quadrant then tan theta is equal to so basically we have to find out their point of intersection so let's solve these two so this is x square plus or oh, let me solve it here i need space guys so i'll start solving from this space so what is it you see this is x square plus 9y square equal to 9 now i'm not going to do entire calculation i'm not going to find out the final answer i have ticked out all the answers so what exactly i'm going to do i'm just showing you the uh, the method how to approach it i'll just write the calcul the final calculative step the calculation is up to you if you are watching this lecture as a revision as a crash course this is what i'll expect that you will solve this problem to the final answer okay so x square plus 9y square equal to 9 this is ellipse and this is circle x square plus y square equal to 3 subtract it so 8y square is equal to 6 so y square is equal to how much this is uh, how much 8y square equal to 6 this is y square so 3 by 4 so y square is 3 by 4 so y will be equal to plus minus 3 by 4 now what is x square x square is equal to 3 minus y square right so this is 3 minus 3 by 4 So that is four three twelve, nine by four. So x will be equal to three by two. I am ignoring minus three by two because it's given that x is positive. Now that we have got x positive, what is y? So what is the point of intersection? Point of intersection is x equal to three by two. And what is y guys here? Y is equal to root three by two. Y is root three by two here. Y is root three by two. So we got point of contact. Now we can write tangents. Now how to write tangent? Now this is point of intersection. That is the point of contact of both the curves. So by point form, we can write tangents for both ellipse and circle. So what will be tangent for ellipse? It will be x x one by nine plus y y one by one minus one equal to zero. What is it? X one is three by two. So 3x by 18 plus y is root 3 by 2. So root 3y by 2 minus 1 equal to 0. This is tangent for ellipse. And then you can find out tangent for circle also. What is tangent for circle? Point of intersection. This is x x 1. X x 1 plus y y 1 minus 3 equal to 0. So x 1 guys is how much? 3 by 2. So 3 by 2x plus y 1 is how much? Root 3 by 2. So root three by two y minus three equal to zero. So from here we can find out slopes, right? Once we have slopes, we can find out tan theta. What is slope of tangent at ellipse? What is the slope of M E? What is that? So this is the six. Cancel it out. This is six. So this is equal to two by three. So this is I think one by root three, guys, right? Minus one by six. So this I'll divide here. Root three by two minus x by six, so this is two by three, uh, root three. So it is, uh, I think, one by three root three, right? One by minus one upon three root three. The so slope of tangent for ellipse is minus one upon three root three, and what is slope of circle tangent? That is equal to two two will cancel out root three 
माइनस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री माइनस रूट थ्री आई थिंक इस माइनस रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस रूट थ्री तो वी हैव गॉट बोथ द स्लोप्स स्लोप ऑफ टेंजेंटा टिलिप स्लोप ऑफ सर्कल नाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट टेन थीटा द फाइनल स्टेप टेन थीटा विल बी इक्वल टू एम ई माइनस एम सी डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस एम ई इन टू एम सी एंड दैट वेन यू कैलकुलेट यूल गेट इट एज टू अपॉन रूट थ्री दैट विल बी द आंसर सो क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल इट्स जस्ट अबाउट फाइंडिंग पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन देन यूजिंग पॉइंट फॉर्म ऑफ टैंजेंट पॉइंट फॉर्म ऑफ टैंजेंट फॉर सर्कल सर्कल एन लिप्स एंड यू गॉट टू स्लोप्स देन यूज टैन थीटा दैट्स इट द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी सिंपल मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट वन The line twelve x cos theta plus five y sine theta equal to sixty. So if you write this properly, this will be x cos theta divided by five plus y sine theta divided by twelve equal to this is equal to one. So this is the tangent, right? This is the tangent. So this is obviously it looks like equation of tangent to ellipse. So if I try to uh, find out from these options, obviously not for this one, for the second one. For the second one, guys, <coughs> this is if we divide thirty six hundred here, this will be x square divided by twenty five plus y square divided by y square divided by one forty four equal to one. This is the ellipse. So for this, what will be parametric coordinates? Parametric coordinates will be a cos theta, so five cos theta divided by twelve sine theta. So clearly, this is the tangent to this. Right, this is x square by a square, so this is tangent in parametric form. So that is for the second curve. And you see, this is the level of question asked in 2021. Direct problem. What they did, they just give you the tangent. You and if you have idea about parametric form, you will solve it within 30 seconds. Right. Moving on to next question. <coughs> so the problem here is the locus of midpoint of line segment joining minus three comma minus five. Joining minus three comma minus five and the points on the ellipse, the points on the ellipse. So, okay. Now see, when the points on the ellipse is asked and locus is involved, there we take help of parametric form. So, what will be parametric form on this ellipse? It will be, you see, a is two. So I can write this as two cos theta, comma. This is three, so three sine theta. So I have that. parametric point on that ellipse now i need to find out locus of its midpoint okay so let's say this is h comma k this h comma k here is midpoint of this segment so what will be h it will be 2 cos theta minus 3 divided by 2 and what is k k is 3 sin theta minus 5 divided by 2 so we can write this as 2h plus 3 2h plus 3 divided by 2 is equal to cos theta, and 2k plus 5 divided by 3 is equal to sine theta. So we square and add. So if we square and add, this is what you are going to get. You just square and add to get the final equation. To get the final equation, this will be 2x. 2x plus 3 divided by 2 whole square plus 2y plus 5 divided by 3. Whole square, two y is equal to one. So when you guys, when you guys expand it, this is what you are going to get. The C option. So very simple problem. Again, the use the concept involved was point on a, but the parametric point on a ellipse. Very very simple. Moving on to the next one. The question says if the minimum area of the triangle found by a tangent is one, and the coordinate axis is k b. Okay, sorry, sorry. Minimum area by this triangle, by this ellipse. What what is the equation of ellipse? Equation of ellipse is x square by b square plus y square divided by two a square equal to one, and the coordinate axis is k times a b. Then k is equal to so so so. Let me write any tangent here. Okay. Now the tangent is. having uh, the, the the area that we have to consider is with respect to coordinate axis so we need to write equation of the tangent so what will be a general point on this ellipse again parametric point so that will be b cos theta 
कॉमा टू ए साइन थीटा क्लियर बी कॉस थीटा कॉमा टू ए साइन थीटा विल बी द पैरामेट्रिक पॉइंट तो एट दैट पैरामेट्रिक पॉइंट वी नो हाउ टू राइट इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट वॉट इज इक्वेशन टेंजेंट एक्स एक्स वन बाई बी स्क्वायर प्लस वाई वाई वन डिवाइड बाई फोर ए स्क्वायर माइनस वन इक्वल दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट सो वॉट इज इट गाइज इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट वॉट इज इट रिप्लेस एक्स वन बाई बी कॉस थीटा सो एक्स बाई बी टाइम्स कॉस थीटा प्लस वाई बाई टू ए टाइम्स टाइम थीटा माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट सो इफ आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल we are talking about this triangle here we are talking about this triangle so what will be the intercepts guys what will be the intercept let's find out intercepts so if you put y equal to 0 here if you put y equal to 0 what will be x b upon cos theta so b upon cos theta comma 0 and if you put x equal to 0 here what will be y 2 upon sin theta 2 upon sin theta so we have guys we have we have the both coordinates so we can find out we can find out this area now how to find out this area will be equal to half of half of this length is b cos theta so this is 2ab divided by sin theta cos theta right so this area expression will be equal to 2ab divided by sin 2 theta and it's clearly given that we need to we need to what minimum we need to minimize this so if you want to minimize then we have to maximize the denominator in denominator we have sin 2 theta so what will be a minimum a minimum will be equal to 2ab divided by 1 because if you want to minimize this area you need to maximize sin 2 theta so your answer will be 2 clear guys i hope i hope this is clear to you moving to next question now moving to next question Okay, so x square plus nine y square minus four x plus three equal to zero. X and y respectively lie in the interval. Okay, so uh, obviously this is the equation of ellipse, right? This is equation of ellipse given. So we need to write it in the proper form first. So x square minus four x plus plus nine uh, y square. X square minus four x plus nine y square plus three equal to zero. So this is x minus two whole square. Plus nine y square equal to one, right? Because uh, we'll add four, subtract four, three minus four minus one. So this is basically x minus two square divided by one plus y square divided by three square, one by three square equal to one. Clear? So when is that x and y defined? The when is this x y? See, if you look at x square by a square y square b square equal to one, x is defined only if it is from minus a to a, right? So this particular x, right? Let, let, write it as particular x. Like this is x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equal to one. So x has to be from minus a to a, and this y has to be between minus b to b. This is what we need to solve. So what is x? X is x minus two. So x minus two will be from minus one to one. So clearly, you can see x will be from one to three. X is from one to three. Now this y here, so y will be from where to where? Y is from minus b to b. So y will be from minus one by three to plus one by three. So which is your answer? One to three minus one by three plus one by three. Right? Because this is clear, no? That X and Y are satisfying this ellipse. It has to be inside that part, right? And you know already if you can imagine that x square by x square by x square by b square equal to one, it is from minus a to a. So the same logic we have applied here. I hope it is clear. Moving on to next one. Okay. So on the ellipse x square by 8, y square by 4 equal to one, let P be a point in the second quadrant such that The tangent at P to the ellipse is perpendicular to the line x plus two y equal to zero. Tangent is perpendicular to this line. Okay, so what is slope of tangent, guys? Like here, slope is how much? Minus one by two. So slope of tangent is two. This is the first information. S and S dash with the focus of the ellipse, and E B is its eccentricity. A is the area of triangle S P S dash, then the value of phi minus e square. Okay, so 
slope of tangent is given to eccentricity is very easy to figure out okay and the point p is in the second quadrant so this is the tangent right so we need to find out that point of contact right if you can understand the problem here we have to first figure out what is that point of contact okay so if slope is known you see what will be point of contact guys let's say point p here is x1 comma y1 okay let's say point p is x1 comma y1 and this is this is s dash this is s focus right this is a tan s s dash p so to find out that point p we need tangent and so what will be what will be equation of the tangent right we know how to write tangent y is equal to mx plus minus square root of a square m square plus b square so y equal to slope is given to so 2x plus minus square root of what is m square m square is 4 4 into what is a square a square is 8 so 8 into 4 32 36 so this is root 36 so it is either 2x plus 6 or 2x minus 6 right 2x plus 6 or 2x minus 6 now which one is that which one is that obviously like if this is uh, passing through second quadrant here so what will be the equation guys what will be equation at x equal to and uh, this has to be have a negative intercept here you see uh, here for this if you if you i put x equal y equal to zero so i think this is the line this line so this tangent this is this is the required tangent right this one will be rejected so 2x plus 6 is the tangent here 2x plus 6 so this tangent we have got is y equal to 2x plus 6 now to find out that point of contact x1 y1 we need to compare it we need to compare this equation with the point form of tangent for this ellipse now what will be point form of tangent this is 4x square ellipse is 4x square 8y square right uh, i think i made some calculation error let me clear it again okay so lcm will be 8 so if you write that ellipse here so 8 for lcm will be 8 so it is x square plus 2y square is equal to 8 this is the ellipse guys this is the ellipse so what is the equation of tangent tangent at p x1 y1 so it is x x1 plus y y1 into 2 minus 8 equal to 0 so we have to compare this tangent equation okay we have to compare this tangent equation with this like if i write it in that form so it is basically 2x minus y plus 6 equal to 0 so if i compare these two if i compare these two so can i say that x1 upon 2 is equal to x1 upon 2 is equal to 2y1 2y1 divided by minus 1 is equal to minus 8 by 6 so if you compare it we have got x1 y1 what is x1 guys x1 is equal to this is 3 right minus 8 by 3 so x1 is minus 8 by 3 and what is y1 this is uh, y1 is equal to y1 is equal to this is minus 1 8 by 6 4 right 4 by 6 so it is 3 by 2 y1 is 3 by 2 clear this is 4 by 3 2 by this is 4 i think i have written opposite right this is 2 by 3 2 by 3 right this is 8 so this is 4 4 by 3 so 2 by 3 right so we have got point p now so this length is known now what is this length this length let's say this is d so this length d guys this length d distance perpendicular from p to s is this what is that that is the y coordinate which is 2 by 3 so d is known so area of the triangle will be d into s is dash d into s is dash now ss dash is distance between focus which is 2 ae right ss dash is 2 ae so what is eccentricity that is 1 minus b square by a square so 4 by 8 right so 8 minus 4 4 by 8 1 by 2 1 upon root 2 that is the eccentricity b square by a square so we got e now we can find out area also what is a guys what is a b a square is 8 so a is 2 root 2 so area of triangle sps dash what is that half of half of 
half of this length ss dash ss dash is 2a that is 2a so 2a will be equal to how much 4 root 2 2a e e is 1 by root 2 into multiplied by this length d which is 2 by 3 so root 2 root 2 will cancel out 2 so this is 4 by 3 this is coming up to be 4 by 3 so we got area of the triangle sps dash now we want phi minus e square into a so it's up to you what is it this will be equal to phi minus e square so e is how much 1 by 2 into a so a a e square 1 by 2 a is equal to 4 by 3 here so you calculate it your answer will be this is 9 by 2 4 6 6 will be your answer clear the question looked lengthy guys because uh, it was comparison of point form right we have written point form of tangent to the given tangent so that we can find point of contact so the main idea here was to just to find point of contact after that there is nothing in the problem moving on okay this looks lengthy a ray of light through 2 comma 1 is reflected a ray of light through 2 comma 1 reflected a point p on the y axis okay on the y axis and then passes to the point 5 comma 3 point this is 2 comma 1 and let's say this is 5 comma 3 the y axis is acting as a mirror now what is next in pass through 5 comma 3 if this reflected ray is the directrix of an ellipse so directrix of ellipse. reflected let's find out equation of reflected ray so guys if you extend these rays so image of 2 comma 1 about y axis what is that that will be minus 2 comma 1 now this will be lying on the same lift reflected ray by proper reflection property in a straight line we have done reflection property so image of 2 comma 1 which is minus 2 comma 1 that will lie on the reflected ray so what is the equation of this directrix guys what is the equation of this directrix so this reflected ray equation of reflected ray we can calculate what is that y minus 3 is equal to what is slope 3 minus 1 2 5 plus 2 7 x minus 5 right this 2 by 7 x minus 5 7y minus 21 is equal to 2x minus 10. So the equation will be 2x minus 7y plus 11 equal to 0. So this is the equation of reflected ray, which is also the directrix of the circle, right? Uh, sorry, ellipse. Now what is given? That uh, reflected ray is the directrix of an ellipse with eccentricity 1 by 3 and distance from the nearest focus is 8 upon root 53. So so we have the directrix right it's like we have the directrix so obviously there will be two ellipse possible right in the options we can see there are two options uh, two answers given obviously right because we have the distance with the nearest we have the distance with the nearest focus now you know that distance of nearest focus is a by e minus a e and x centers is given one upon three so, what is this? This A by E minus A E is given how much? It's, uh, sorry guys. This is 8 upon root 53. This is 8 upon root 53. Clear? This distance is given 8 upon root 53. Where E is 1 by 3. So, if E is 1 by 3, A upon E is 1 by 3. So, it will be uh, 2A by 3 minus this is uh, a into 3e right i think there is some e is 1 by 3 right so this will be 3 you know with 3 a is 1 by 3 so this will be 3a minus 3 minus a by 3 is equal to 8 upon root 53 right so we have value of a now what will be value of a this is 9a right this is 9a 8a 8a by 3 8a by 3 is equal to 8 upon root 53 we have value of a is equal to 3 upon root 53 we got value of a now the other directrix guys the other directrix see the other directrix 
will be at what distance? The distance between directrix, obviously there will be two lines possible. So the distance between two directrix is 2a by e, right? That is the distance. The distance between two directrix will be 2a by e. So the given directrix is 2x minus 7y plus 11. This is the given directrix. So let's say the other directrix will be 2x minus 7y plus c equal to 0. And distance between these two will be 2a by e. That distance, right? This distance that we're talking about is equal to how much? 2. How much is a? 3 upon root 53. Okay, into. This is uh, 2a upon e. So e is 1 upon 1 over 3. 3, 3, 9, 2, 18. So this distance is 18 divided by root 53. So we need to solve these two for 18 by root 53. Okay. So what is the distance guys? This is C minus 11 divided by 49 plus 4 root 53 will be equal to 18 divided by root 53. So you see root 53 will cancel out. C minus 11 will be equal to minus 18 or plus 18. So C is going to be equal to either minus 7 or 29. This will be our answer. Minus 7 or 29, there is going to be two possibilities. So if you see, we have the answer as 29 and minus 7. So this is C is the correct option. Right? So its fundamental property has been used. Property or what say, like those things are the most basic things which we can understand from an ellipse, uh, uh, from any given particular ellipse. Okay? So problem was again easy guys. Slightly calculative, but not difficult. Next one. What is it we have? Let E be an ellipse whose axis are parallel to the coordinate axis, having its center at 3, minus 4, 1 focus at 4, minus 4. Fine. Center is 3, minus 4. Then 1 focus. Focus at 4, minus 4. And vortex at 5, minus 4. This is vortex 5, minus 4. So mx minus y equal to 4 is the tangent to the ellipse e, value of 5m square is equal to, right? Tangent uh, is given. What is the tangent, guys? This is y is equal to. y is equal to mx minus 4 is the tangent. This is the tangent for this ellipse. Tangent for this ellipse. y is equal to mx minus 4. And m is positive. Then the value of 5m square. So can we write equation of this ellipse? What is the equation of this ellipse, guys? Can we write equation of this ellipse? What is it? What is it? What is it? You see, center is 3, minus 4. We need to find out A and B. Right? So what is A distance? What is A? This A is 5 minus 3, 2. Distance A is 2 here. Major X is this less. This will be 2. And uh, what is this distance? A E length. A into E. That is length. This one. Center to focus. And this is vortex. So center focus distance is A E. So A is equal to 4 minus 3, 1. So we have already E, A. So E is 1 by 2. So what will be B square? B square will be A square minus A square E square. So B square will be equal to what is A square? 4 minus 1, which is 3. So we have A and B value with us. So we can write equation of this ellipse. Center is 3 minus 4. So X minus 3 whole square divided by A square. That is 4 plus y plus 4 whole square divided by b square which is 3 is equal to 1. This is the ellipse guys. We have got ellipse result now. What else we need? What else we need? You see, you see we need to solve this tangent with this ellipse. Right? If this line is tangent to this ellipse, if this line is tangent to this ellipse then Solving line and curve will give you a quadratic and discriminant will be equal to zero. That is the only funda we have been using for tangent. So let's do that. You see y plus 4 is mx. So this will be x minus 3 whole square divided by 4 plus y plus 4 can be replaced with mx. mx square divided by 3 is equal to 1. So clearly we have got a quadratic in m. You see this is, uh, if you simplify it further. I will not calculate everything. This is how much? This is 3x square. Right? 3x square. Uh, then this is 9. 9, 3, 27. And this is uh, 6. 
तो माइनस एटीन एक्स राइट दिस इज टू थ्री सिक्स माइनस एटीन एक्स प्लस दिस इज फोर टाइम्स एम स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो इफ यू फ्रेम क्वारिटिक इन एक्स ईयर तो थ्री प्लस फोर एम स्क्वायर इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर ओके आई थिंक आई एम मिसिंग समथिंग एटीन एक्स इन टू एम राइट माइनस एटीन एम एक्स एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस ट्वेल्व प्लस फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू जीरो राइट दिस इज द क्वारिटिक After solving this tangent with this ellipse, we got a quadratic. And now what we'll do? We'll put discriminant equal to zero. So b square, so 18 square into m square is equal to 4 ac. So 4 into 15 and 3 plus 4 m square. So if you simplify it, you will simplify it. You'll get 5 m square equal to The rest calculation is up to you. If you simplify that, you will get five m square equal to three. Clear? I hope the funda is clear, guys. Very very simple problem. Moving on to next one. What does it say? Let an ellipse E where a square is greater than b square. Okay, this is ellipse where a square is greater than b square passes through root three by two comma one and has eccentricity one upon root three. Fine. Okay, E is given one upon root three. So what we can write? Like e square will be equal to one plus one minus sorry one minus one minus b square by a square and e is e is given one by e is one by root three so we have b square by a square equal to one minus e square two by three so this one relation we already have now what is next this is passing through root three by two comma one find. So if you pass it through root three by two one, so this is three by two a square, right? Root three by two. Put it here. Root three by two. Three by two a square plus one upon b square is equal to one. This is the second relation. Now what is next? If a circle centered at focus, okay, of E, so so center will be of E, which is zero comma zero, and radius two by root three intersect E at two points P and Q, then P Q square. E Q square. So this is going to be calculative, but the problem is very simple, right? This ellipse is intersecting this circle. What is circle? Alpha comma zero, right? We have to find out focus here. Center at focus and radius two by root three. So we need to find out a and b to find out focus from here. So how can we find out? It's very simple. Just replace it. What is two a square? Two a square guys can be replaced with. 2a square is 3b square, so 3 upon 3b square plus 1 by b square is equal to 1. So this cancels out. So 2 by b square is equal to 1. We got b square value. B square is 2, right? So b square is 2. Then what will be a square? What will be a square from here? What will be if b square is 2? Then a square will be equal to 3. So very easily we got b and a. So this is the equation of ellipse. X square by a square plus y square by b square equal to one. We got equation of ellipse. What is focus? Focus is a e comma zero, right? Because we have to consider positive. So focus, guys, will be equal to a is how much? Root three. E is one upon root three, so it is one comma zero. So equation of circle. Equation of circle will be x minus one whole square plus y square is equal to four upon three. We have got equation of circle also, right? We got circle which is centered at focus. Distance radius was two upon root three. Now, this circle and this ellipse, this circle and this ellipse, these two are intersecting. These two are intersecting at P and Q. We have to find out that distance P and Q. So, 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 let's say this is a circle ellipse. This is the circle. And they are intersecting at two points P and Q, right? Then it is two points P and Q. So we need to we need to find out this length PQ square. So how to find out? See, now it's just like solving both two both of these two together. So two x square. If you simplify it, this is two x square plus three y square is equal to how much? Six. So we can replace y square here. This is two x square 
plus guys what will be what will be y square replaced with y square we can replace with 4 by 3 4 by 3 minus x minus 1 whole square is equal to 6 right am i correct this is the uh, this is x minus 1 square y square 4 by 3 so 3 times 4 by 3 this 4 by 3 is equal to 6 so this will cancel out 2x square then 2x square and minus 3x square right minus 3x square then this will be see we are going to get a quadratic in x let me simplify it we are going to get a quadratic in x what is that quadratic going to be 3 3 will cancel out 3 3 will cancel out so this is the 2x square plus 4 right plus 4 minus 3x square this is minus 2x so minus minus plus plus 6x and this will be minus 1 so minus 3 is equal to 6 so we have got a quadratic minus x square plus 6x and this is 4 minus 3 1 1 minus 6 minus 5 equal to 0 so 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 take x square common so this is x square minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0 so x minus 5 x minus 1 equal to 0 so we got coordinates 1 comma 5 1 and 5 so if x is 1 what will be y guys if x is 1 if x is 1 y will be equal to 4 by 3 right if x is 1 y will be equal to 4 by 3 here so y square will be equal to how much y square will be equal to 4 by 3 so y will be equal to 2 by root 3 right y p can be 1 by 2 root 3 or so basically they are intersecting at two points right 1 comma 2 root 3 or it could be something like this also this ellipse and circle are intersecting in such a way right so 1 comma 2 root 3 the other will be 1 comma minus 2 root 3 so i think this is sufficient to find out what is it what is it this is uh, pq square what is pq square so it is 2 by root 3 2 by root 3 right it is uh, 4 by root 3 so if you square it it will be 16 by 3 that is your answer right that is the answer you find from the other one that will be still same so answer will be equal to 4 by root 3 square 16 by 3 so it was pure calculation it was pure calculation only thing we had to keep in mind was this thing was the simplification of uh, for a and b rest all was quite simple clear moving on to next one guys okay so if a tangent to the ellipse uh, meets the tangent at the extremities of its major axis at b and c then the circle with bc guys this is what i was telling you this question is asked in j main this is a direct property this is a direct property you see there is no no twisting here this directly have said that the tangents at extremities of major axis the so tangents at extremities of major axis right and this is intersecting so we have to see that the circle the circle with these two points so we have written this as a property that this will pass through focus this will pass through focus of that focus of that ellipse so if you see here root 3 comma 0 is the focus this is the focus if you calculate in this problem you see what is what is what is the equation of ellipse x square by 4 plus y square by 1 equal to 0 so a is 2 now what is x intensity root over 1 minus 1 by 4 that is root 3 by 2 so what is focus guys plus minus a comma 0 what is that a e root 3 that's it your answer will be root 3 comma 0 so if you remember the property this question will take less than 5 seconds 10 seconds right but if you don't know the property then the simplification is going to take a lot of time right you will find out that point that other point will kill your time remember this as a standard property fine moving on let e1 the problem here let e1 a greater than b let e2 be another ellipse such that it touches the end points of major axis of e1 and the focus of e2 are the end points of minor axis of e1 okay 
let's draw it so this one ellipse now what is it the other ellipse is something like this okay this diagram is not proper but let it be so this is e1 and this is e2 what is being said that it touches the end points of major axis of e1 major axis of e1 fine that it is passing through a comma 0 minus a comma 0 and the foci of e2 are the end point of minor axis of e1 so this is focus right 0 comma b and 0 comma minus b these are focus focus for e2 even it to have same eccentricities then its value is okay so both of these both ellipse e1 and e2 are having same eccentricity so so see so what i can write here like the e1 here like what will be e2 guys what will write e2 as see e2 is e2 is having this thing as minor axis so can i write e2 equation as something x square by t square plus y square by uh, a square equal to 1 getting my point because for e2 you see focus is e1 focus is 0 comma b and 0 comma minus b right so the other one is the major minor axis so minor axis length is how much 2a so same minor axis will be a here this is it so the other ellipse e1 the given ellipse is x square by a square plus y square of b square equal to 1 now these two are having same eccentricity so if i write eccentricity from here what should i write here these two are having same eccentricity so 1 minus a square by c square will be equal to 1 minus b square by a square right eccentricities are equal so 1 minus a square by c square will be equal to 1 minus b square by a square from here what we have we have a power 4 is equal to b square into c square so we have a square equal to b into c right a power 4 here will be equal to b square c square so this is one relation we have between c like c is basically a square upon b what next so now let's use the information that uh, the focus focus which is uh, 0 comma b for the e2 so can we say that c into e is equal to b also so with help of these two information i think we can find out the eccentricity part now guys you can see if c into e is b right so b is c here so a square like if we put it back here so b uh, b is c into e right or you can say that uh, this c is b upon e this will be upon e so what do we have from here we have a square is equal to b square upon e so e is equal to b square upon a square now what is that that is 1 minus e square so we have got a quadratic from here guys this is e square plus e minus 1 equal to 0 so from here e will be minus 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 that is what we will have here minus 1 plus root 5 because obviously the other root which is minus 1 minus root 5 will be rejected because 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 eccentricity cannot be negative obviously that is the answer minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 okay, guys so let's solve the next question now so the tangent to the ellipse is given at this point value of theta sum of intercepts on axis is minimum so this is parametric point for this ellipse so basically we have this tangent x upon 3 root 3 this will be cos theta plus y sin theta divided by 1 equal to 1 this is a tangent so we can rewrite this in this form intercept form x upon 3 root 3 sec theta plus y upon 1 equal to y upon cosec theta equal to 1 right so what is sum of intercept from we already have written tangent in intercept form that sum of intercept will be 3 root 3 sec theta plus cosec theta 
So for minimum or maximum, we need to differentiate. So what will be ds by d theta? It is 3 root 3 times sec theta will be sec theta tan theta. And cosec theta differentiation will be minus of cosec theta into cot theta. And this will put equal to 0. So if we put it equal to 0, guys, what is it we have? We have this implies that we have tan theta here. If you put it equal to 0, so sec is 1 upon cos, cos tan cot. So that is tan cube theta. So tan cube theta will be 1 upon 3 root 3. So clearly we have tan theta equal to 1 upon root 3. Right? So tan theta is coming out to be 1 upon root 3. So for what angle? This is for theta equal to pi by 6. Theta equal to pi by 6 is the minimum possible value. Clear? I hope the solution is clear. We have got sum of intercepts. Just we need to differentiate. We got tan cube theta is 1 upon 3 root 3. And from there, we can comment theta will be 30 degree. I hope the concept is clear, guys. Moving on to next question. Okay. So let L be a tangent line to the parabola at uh, 6, 2. So, what is it tangent? Uh, what is the equation of L here, guys? What is the equation of L? Equation of L is y y1 is equal to 4 times x plus x1 by 2 minus 20. Now 6 comma 2 is the point here. So it is 2y. 2y is equal to twice of x plus 6 minus 20. Again take 2 common. y is equal to x plus 6 minus 10. So y is equal to x minus 4 is the equation of L. Now, this is also tangent to this ellipse, then the value of b is equal to, right? So, can I say that this minus 4 will be equal to, you can see slope is m, slope m is 1. So, we can use condition of tangency, what is that? Condition of tangency, that c equal to, if y equal to mx plus c is tangent, then c will be equal to, what is that? c equal to minus of, here it is negative, so that is why I am putting negative, or we can simply say, right, c square. We can simply say that c square is equal to a square m square plus b square. If y equal to mx plus c is tangent to this ellipse, then c square will be equal to a square m square plus b square. What is c square? 16. a square is a is x square by a square a is 2. m is 1. So 2 plus what is b square guys? b square. b square. So b square coming is b square is going to be 40. So I think there is something missing in the problem. I think they are trying to ask what is b square? Value of b square will be equal to 14. Right? In fact, this is not b square, guys. That is b itself. Uh, the question is correct. Question is correct. Actually, this is b square, no? So b square is here. This is b square is b itself. Okay. So this is b here. Okay. This is c square is equal to a square is 2. Let's write something uh, something else here. Like c square is equal to basically a square m square plus b square. If the condition is if y equal to mx plus c is tangent. Tangent to x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So, if this is given, from there we can see b square, not b square, only b is 14. Okay. Value of b is 14. So, I hope you have understood it. Moving on to next question. If the point of intersection of ellipse and the circle uh, lie on the curve y square equal to 3x square, then b is equal to. So, this is x square by 16 plus y square by b square equal to 1. This is the ellipse and the circle equation is x square plus y square is equal to 4b. Fine. <clears throat> Their intersection is satisfying y square equal to 3x square. Correct. So, we need to solve for b. Fine. So what we can say, let's say point of intersection is h comma k. Let's say point of intersection point of intersection guys is h comma k so we can put that h comma k in all the equations right 
वी कैन सी दैट एच स्क्वायर बाई सिक्सटीन प्लस के स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन देन एच स्क्वायर प्लस के स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर बी देन के स्क्वायर इक्वल टू थ्री एच स्क्वायर सो वी हैव दीज थ्री रिलेशन एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट बी So we have three relation and we have to eliminate h and square k square. We need to get everything terms of b. This is very simple, guys. Here, like starting from here, I can replace it here. This so h square plus k square is what? Three h square is equal to four b. So we have got from here that h square is equal to b. Now if h square is b, right? What will be k square? What will be k square? If h square is b, k square will be equal to Three b, so we can utilize these two in this equation. So h square is how much b? So b upon sixteen plus k square is how much? Three b. Three b upon b square is equal to one, right? I got h square k square in terms of b. I replaced it back here in this first ellipse equation. So now this is easy, guys. We can simplify now. So this is uh, b. So how much is this? This is b square. Let's take LC. So 16b will be equal to how much? B square plus 48, right? If I take LCM 16b, this is B square 48. What is it that is satisfied? 12. You can see 12 square is uh, 144. 144 plus 48, and here 16 12. So I think this is going to satisfy, right? So B will be equal to 12. So that's it again. Very simple problem. It was just about point of intersection. You see, the main concepts of ellipse, which is about uh, equation of tangents, equation of normals, part of contact, it's almost null. You know, we'll, we'll, let's let's solve few more problems and like the question. So let's solve our next question. The question is: If the curves this and this intersect each other at angle of 90 degree, then which of the following relations is true, guys? You see. This is the property I was talking about. We have written this as a direct property. This should be remembered as a direct property because this is not the first time when they have asked this question. There has been other instances also when they ask the same question. You just need to remember the condition, right? What we had written that a square minus b square equal to c square minus d square is exactly same thing. A minus b is equal to c minus d. If you remember it, it will take seconds to solve. If you don't remember it. You are going to waste at least five minutes of yours in calculation, and mark it. They see. I am not saying that you just mug up the answer. These are standard facts that you have to remember at any cost, because you are doing quadrate geometry, and this is the only chapter where the word remember is used a lot. You have to do it. Otherwise, you are going to lose time. You are going to lose time for sure. Moving on. So, what do we have here? X square y square be a given ellipse. Length of whose lattice rectum is 10. Fine. We are given that 2b square by a is 10. Right? A is greater than b. If its eccentricity is the maximum value of the function, then a square plus b square. How simple is this, guys? We have to maximize it. So maximize is minus d by 4a. Right? Because the, this is a quadratic. This is a quadratic having negative, negative uh, uh, leading coefficient. So maximum. So maximum of phi t will be equal to minus d by 4a. So minus what is discriminant? So b square minus 4ac. So minus minus plus 20 by 12, right? B square minus 4ac. So minus minus plus of 20 by 12 divided by 4a. So this is minus 4. So what is it? This is uh, 12, 32. 32 divided by 48 positive sign, so this is 2 by 3. So we got it. The maximum value is 2 by 3. So eccentricity is how much? E is equal to 2 by 3. What else is asked? Then a square plus b square is equal to. So e is 2 by 3. 2b square by 10. Now we know that b square is equal to a square minus a square e square, right? So so b square is how much? B square is 5a. Equal to a square minus a square into what is e square? E square is four by nine. So guys, we have value of a from here. What is that? What is that? This is equal to is equal to forty five divided by divided by 
5 so a is 9 right a is going to be 9 clear this is a will cancel out 9a minus 4a 5a by 9 this a is equal to 9. a is 9 guys so if a is 9 what is b what is b b is equal to b is equal to a is 9 45 so b square will be equal to 45 so a square is 81 b square is 45 answer will be 126 clear very simple a simple quadratic logic has been used i just they are asking formulas man what else you want this is not l this is actually one okay the problem is let x equal to 4 be a directrix to an ellipse whose center is at origin and x centricity is 1 comma 2 okay x equal to 4 center is origin x equal to 4 is the directrix right center is 0 comma 0 what else eccentricity is given 1 by 2 e is 1 by 2 fine what else let p 1 comma beta is a point on this ellipse then the equation of this normal to it again guys this is again very very simple problem e is given right we need to derive equation of ellipse so what to do what to do what to do e is given and a by e you see a by e is given 4 so what is a 4 times e so a is 2 so b square will be equal to a square minus a square e square so a square is 4 and this is 1 so b square is 3 so equation of ellipse now we have got it is x square by 4 plus y square by 3 equal to 1 this is the equation of ellipse x square by 4 minus y square by 3 equal to 1 now we want this beta right 1 comma beta is a lying on this curve so 1 upon 4 plus beta square by 3 is equal to 1 right so beta square by 3 will be equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 3 by 4 right 1 minus 1 by 4 will be 3 by 4 so beta is equal to 3 by 2 because we have to consider only positive sign so beta we got 3 by 2 so what is the equation of normal a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 is equal to a square e square so a square is how much 4 x what is x1 guys x1 is 1 minus b square is how much 3 3 y y1 what is y1 y1 is 3 by 2 3 by 2 this is 3 by 2 equal to a square e square what is a square e square it is 1 so this will cancel out so we have 4x minus 2 by equal to 1 4x minus 2 by equal to 1 that is the equation of normal so very simple concept first they made us write equation of ellipse then we got value of beta and then we found out equation of normal very basic question right this is like one of the this, these type of questions are considered the easiest type of question which you can have in this chapter okay moving on to next one let the point p on the curve is farthest from the point 0 comma minus 4 then pq square is equal to okay let's draw the curve first so this is an ellipse x square by 5 plus y square by 4 equal to 1 this is the equation of ellipse x square by 5 y square by 4 so this is how we draw it right guys so this is root 5 comma 0 right and we need to find out the farthest point from from 0 comma minus 4 now 0 comma minus 4 will be somewhere here 0 comma minus 4 will be somewhere here and what do we need farthest point okay so farthest point from this ellipse so 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 okay so any random point guys we can consider any random point on this ellipse as something let's say and 0 comma minus 4 point p on the curve is farthest farthest from the point 0 comma minus 4 okay now if we talk about the farthest distance so what is it going to be what is it going to be like this distance is how much this is what point this is 0 comma 2 right 
zero comma two. So I think there is nothing to solve here, guys, because clearly this distance will be the greatest distance, right? The other distance from zero comma minus four. If you five figure out other distances, how lull this question is, guys? How lull this question is? If you figure out other distances, obviously those distances are going to be less than what we have written. All these distances are going to be smaller, right? This one is the greatest possible distance. So no calculation required. Four plus two six. The d max. D max will be six. So p q square will be equal to thirty six. Thirty six will be your answer. And here you have thirty six the answer. So simple. From twenty twenty. This is from twenty twenty. Next question. If the coordinates of two points A and B are given. Respectively, P is any point of the coordinate. Then P A plus P B. Guys, if you closely observe, these are focus. Root seven comma zero and minus root seven comma zero. These two points are focus of ellipse. These two points are focus of ellipse. The question has been asked in such a way that it gives gives this intuition that the point is nothing but the points are nothing but focus. So, by the definition, what is P A plus P B? This P A plus P B, where A and B are focus, right? This is focus. So P A plus P B will be equal to two A. Let me uh, this uh, length of major axis. So what is that? This is twelve. So this is x square nine sixteen sixteen. This is four. So it is answer will be eight. Answer will be eight. Quite simple. Moving to next question now. So which of the following points lies on the locus of Put off perpendicular drawn upon any tangent to the ellipse from any of its focus. Now, again, this is a property, direct property. If we are drawing, if we are drawing put off perpendicular from focus, then the locus is what? Locus is guys. What is locus? Locus is auxiliary circle. Locus is auxiliary circle. So, if it is auxiliary circle, what is the equation? Concentric. And radius is equal to a, uh, the greatest uh, the major axis same measure, so it is two square four. This is it. So which one of these points lie? Obviously minus one comma root three. How simple questions have been there in 2020? Within 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 two three seconds we are solving questions. That's it. The property is a direct property based locus and auxiliary circle. Moving on to next question. The normal at end of a lattice rectum of an ellipse. Okay. Okay. So normal at end of a lattice rectum of an ellipse passes through an extremity of the minor axis. Okay. Something like this. Then the eccentricity is equal to right. So now so this one end will be a comma b square by a, and it is passing through let's say zero comma minus b. Right, normal at one end of a lattice rectum. So end of a lattice rectum will be a comma b square by a. It is passing through zero comma minus b. So let's write. Let's write. So a square x by x one minus b square y by y one is equal to a square e square. Now this is passing through where, guys? What is that x one y one? It is a comma b square by a. So a square x divided by. Or let us let's pass it through. We know that this particular normal is going to pass through zero comma minus b. Let it pass through zero comma minus b. So x will be zero. So b square, y will be minus b. Divide by y one is equal to a square e square. Guys, okay. Now what is that point y one? That y one point is b square by a. So b cube divided by y one will be b square by a. Is equal to a square e square. So this a will go into numerator. So a into b is equal to e square into a square. Again, this will cancel out. So we have e square is equal to b upon a. Also, we know that e square is equal to one minus b square by a square. Right? This is the basic thing here. So b square by a square will be e power four. So e power four minus e square is equal to zero. This we need to solve. 
and i think we have already equation in the same form that is it this is your answer so data was given in a way so that like it it was meant to be slightly difficult calculative but it is not because it is mean again lul question moving on the distance between the focus of an ellipse is 6 fine so 2a is 6 and distance between the directrix is uh, 12 so 2a by e is 12 then the length of its lattice rectum is equal to very nice just multiply these two so 4a square is equal to how much 72 right if i multiply these two guys so 4 into a square is equal to 72 so a square is equal to how much this is 18 18 so a we have got is root 18 right a is root 18 what is e or what is e what is e guys what is e so a is equal to right if we have this i think that is all we need if you remember length of lattice rectum guys length of lattice rectum. i think we don't even need to calculate these that's all length of lattice rectum if you remember we had written twice of eccentricity multiplied by multiplied by distance between distance between focus and directrix this was the answer this was the alternate way twice of eccentricity into distance between a by e minus a so what is a by e minus a so from here we have a by e minus a e equal to how much from these two it is 6 3 this is 3 this is 3 and what is eccentricity if i divide these two right this is a the so 2 into what is a a is this is 6 2 into 6 e into e is equal to 6 so e will be how much this is 2 ae so a is how much a is 6 e right we replace it here a is 6 e equal to 6 so e will be 1 upon root 2 that's all we need so 2 into eccentricity 1 by root 2 into this distance 3 will be 6 upon root 2 so 6 upon root 2 if you calculate obviously this is uh, root 3 into root 3 into root 3 into 2 or we see this is 3 into root 2 guys i'm confused this is 3 into 2 So we can write six as three into root two into root two divide by root two. You cancel it, so three root two will be your answer. Again, very simple problem. From this segment, I have not seen a single problem which is even one percent challenging to any student. If you remember those properties, so those question could have been very difficult, where we had used the direct property that it is passing through focus a minus b equal to c minus d. But that is possible only if you are aware of those properties. If not, your life is lul so next one 3x plus 4y equal 12 root 2 for some a then distance between focus of the ellipse okay so we need to find out a now this is a tangent right so what is c square we know that c square is equal to a square m square plus b square the condition of tangency so what is guy what is c here i can rewrite here this is 4y 4y is equal to minus 3x Plus 12 root 2, right? 4y is equal to minus 3x minus 12 root 2. So y is equal to minus 3 by x plus 3 by 4x plus uh, 3 root 2. So we have got c value. So c square. So 3 root 2 square is equal to a square. What is a square? A square is a square into m square. M is 3 by 4, so it is 9 by 16. A square m square plus b square. What is b square? B square is 9. So that's it. Three root two square is eighteen nine. So a square is sixteen. We got a square sixteen. So the equation of ellipse is x square by sixteen plus y square by nine equal to one. This is equation of ellipse. What else we want? Distance between focus is two a e. So two a is four a is under root of one minus nine by sixteen. So two into four into this is sixteen uh, minus nine seven, root seven by 
फोर सो फोर फोर विल कैंसिल आउट टू रूट सेवन विल बी आंसर ओके आई सो लेट्स सॉल्व आवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम y इक्वल टू एम एक्स एंड टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन इंटरसेक्ट एट पॉइंट पी इन द फर्स्ट क्वारेंट सो इफ द नॉर्मल टू दिस लिप्स एट पी मीट द क्वारेंट एक्सिस एट दिस पॉइंट ओके देन बीटा इज इक्वल टू फाइन सो like this ellipse here we have is x square upon 1 by 2 plus y square upon 1 is equal to 1 right this very simple problem guys what we have to do equation of ellipse is given equation of ellipse is given now the equation of normal what is equation of normal you see this is passing through where this is passing through x upon intercepts are given no intercepts are given so we can write this equation x upon minus 1 upon 3 root 2 plus y upon what is intercept of y beta equal to 1 this is the equation of normal so if i take minus common here so this will be 3 root 2x right minus beta and this is minus 1 here so plus 1 equal to 0 this is the equation of normal right this is the equation of normal we need to find out beta from here so if this is the equation of normal i think something is missing here to 2x minus okay 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 something is missing this is minus minus y upon beta yeah 3 root 2x minus y upon beta Plus one equal to zero. This is the equation of normal. So, uh, you see, see what is what is what is what is what is point of contact. The point of contact is with y equal to m x. Okay, y equal to m x is the point of contact of this line and this ellipse. Okay, this line and this ellipse, and there we have written the tangent. Fine. So can we find out this point of intersection? Can we find y equal to m x is intersecting with this ellipse in the first quadrant also? Okay. So if y equal to m x is intersecting with the ellipse, so this will be two x square plus y square will be m square x square equal to one. So what is the uh, x from here? X is a one upon square root of 2 plus m square. So we have got point of contact. Y is equal to m upon 2 plus m square, right? At this point, we have drawn normal. Now, what will be normal at this point, guys? What will be normal to this uh, to this ellipse at this point? So, what is what is slope here? What is slope here? This is uh, x square is 2x. right or we have direct we have direct answer for our normal we know that this is a square x upon x1 a square x upon x1 is equal to is equal to is equal to minus of sorry 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 or let's do one thing let's write equation of normal properly here what is slope here this is 2x right if you if you differentiate this what will be what will be okay yeah so if you write equation of normal so what is slope here guys we have points no it will help us what is slope here 2x square it is 4x right 4x plus 2y y dash equal to 0 so slope of tangent from here we can see is equal to minus 2x upon y right slope of tangent y dash will be equal to minus 2x upon y so from here we can see slope of normal will be equal to uh, y upon 2x so if you figure out y upon 2x what is that this y this is x what is uh, what is this y upon 2x is what is y upon 2x so slope of normal is y upon 2x what is that if you divide by m divide by this so this will be only m So it is equal to m by two. Correct. 
if I am dividing these two, if I am dividing these two, so this divided by this, this is y upon x, so this will cancel out only m upon 2. So slope of normal is m upon 2. So once we have slope of normal, once we have slope of normal, uh, what we can do now? We can write we can write equation here. Right? We can write equation of normal. So what is that? y minus y1. So y1 point is m upon 2 plus m square is equal to slope is m by 2 x minus 1 upon square root of 2 plus m square. This is the equation of normal. Also these two are similar equation. These two are similar equation. So so like if I if I if I try to find a relation between minus 1 upon 3 to 2 so you see x intercept is given minus 1 by 3 root 2. So if I if I in this given equation if I put if I put x equal to 0 if I put x equal to 0 okay in this equation if I put y equal to 0 right if I put y equal to 0 so minus m upon square root of 2 plus m square will be equal to m by 2 into x is how much x is minus 1 by 3 root 2 x is minus 1 by 3 root 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus m square square root right this m is going to be cancelled out so so now if i if i this this thing we can take it that side with negative sign being cancelled out 2 upon square root of 2 plus m square is equal to is equal to how much this is uh, 1 upon 3 root 2 plus 1 upon square root of 2 plus m square because we have cancelled negative sign right negative sign is cancelled from everywhere so if you take it this side the square root of 2 plus m square will be equal to 3 root 2 so m square plus 2 will be equal to this is 3 root 2 9 18 6 18 so m is coming out to be what plus 4 or minus 4 right slope has two values plus 4 or minus 4 now depends right to find beta we know that it is in first quadrant now what is beta right what is beta what is beta here what is beta when when i put y, y when i put x equal to 0 okay so y minus beta minus m upon this root 2 plus m square is 3 root 2 right this thing is 3 root 2 so m upon 3 root 2 is equal to this is m upon 2 into x is 0 minus 1 upon 3 root 2 this is what so guys beta is coming out to be minus like if i if i divide this is minus m divided by 6 root 2 minus m divided by 6 root 2 plus m divided by root 2 so if i multiply by 2 here so m divided by 3 root 2 will be the value now m should be plus 4 or minus 4 because beta is positive so m will put plus 4 so 4 upon 3 root 2 so this is the uh, if you multiply here this will be root 2 by 3 right this beta here will be equal to how much this 2 m upon 3 root 2 6 root 2 guys sorry this is m upon 6 root 2 my bad this is 6 root 2 so this is 2 this is 3 so the answer will be root 2 by 3 this is the answer so slightly calculative right slight there were so many things to write it took time because of this calculation otherwise the question was very simple we got point of intersection we wrote equation of normal and then we utilize it we found out value of m clear moving on to next sum so e1 and e2 are the eccentricities of the ellipse and the hyperbola respectively and e1 comma e2 is a point on the ellipse fine in case so this is what this is pure calculation guys what is e1 what is e1 e1 is what e1 is the eccentricity of this ellipse which is square root of 1 minus b square by a square so root 14 divided by 18 so root 7 by 9 so is root 7 divided by 3 is e1 1 minus b square 
is 4 a square is 18 right so root 7 by 3 is e1 now what is e2 hyperbola so this is the uh, under root of 1 plus b square by a square so 4 by 9 so this is root 13 divided by 3 so we got e1 and e2 right and even is a point on the ellipse. So 15 even square plus 3 times e2 square is equal to k. So guys, what is even square? Even square will be 7 by 9. A2 square will be how much? 13 by 9 is equal to k. So from here we'll have k equal to 39 plus 32. Uh, this is 39 and plus uh, 105. 144 is 16 so k comes out to be 16 that's it so quite simple this was just direct formula for eccentricities and these type of question if you if you get in your exam you are super lucky guys length of the minor axis of an ellipse in the standard form is 4 upon root 3 okay so length of the minor axis so 2b is given 4 upon root 3 then, if this ellipse touches the line x plus 6y equal to 8, then its eccentricity is. Okay. So, so what, what is the tangent here? y is equal to minus x by 6 plus 4 by 3. Right? If I divide, if I divide it by uh, minus x by 6, right? 4 by 3. So, this is the equation of tangent. We have slope information. We have that C information. So, slope is one minus 1 by 6 here. Now, we know that c square is equal to a square m square plus b square. What is c guys? What is c? c is 4 by 3. So, 16 by 9 is equal to a square m square. a square m square. m is how much? 1 by 6. So, it is uh, a square by 36 plus b square. b square is unknown. Let it be like this. So we have this relation between a square b square right and b is also known to us so a square by 36 will be equal to 16 by 9 minus b square what is b guys b is 2 so 4 by 3 so that is multiplied by 3 so 3 4 12 so it is, will be 4 by 9 9 this is 4 so a is equal to 4 we got value of a equal to 4 so what will be eccentricity it will equal 1 minus b square by a square so b square is how much 4 by 3 a square is 16 4 11 4 3 12 minus 11 root 11 divided by root 12 so this is root 3 1 upon 2 so this will be your answer so quite simple just use the condition of tangency we got the value every time the problems are being based on the simplest of the fact that you can do on this chapter let L be a common tangent line to the curves, ellipse and circle. Nice guys. This is, circle is x square plus y square is equal to 31 by 4. Slow the line. So, what you can do? And the other one is, x square by 9 plus y square by 4 equal to 1. So, we know how to write, how to solve these type of problems. If we have common tangent problem, write tangent for 1 and satisfy condition of tangency for the other one like for this what will be condition of tangent of slope m y equal to mx plus minus r r is root 31 by 2 so r under root 1 plus m square and from this what will have y is equal to mx plus minus a square m square plus b square which is 4 a square m square plus b square so these two will be equal right so if we equate it so 31 by 4 into 1 plus m square will be equal to 9 m square plus 4 so we have 31 by 4 minus 4 is equal to 9 minus 31 by 4 times m square so we have 16 so 15 by 4 is equal to 5 divided by 4 m square so this will cancel out m square is coming out to be equal to 3 
and I think we had to find out slope of the line L. So what is that equal to guys? That will be equal to root 3. Quite simple. Quite simple. L be common tangent. I think we have done correct. M square is 3. Moving on to next question. The tangent on the ellipse at the point and a comma b are perpendicular to each other, then a square is equal to. Fine. So tangent at the point 1 comma 2. So what is it? Tangent of 1, 1 comma 2. So 4 into x into x1 plus y y1. Right? y y1, y1 is how much? 2 equal to 8. So 2x plus y minus 4 equal to 0 is the equation of tangent. Right? Now the slope here, what is slope? Right, slope here is equal to minus 2. What is this given? Tangent at a comma b, a comma b are perpendicular. So a comma b is also lying on this ellipse. So 4a square plus b square equal to 8. This is one equation. Right? And if you see tangent at a comma b, if you find out what will be tangent at a comma b? Tangent. Slope of tangent. If you find out slope of tangent at a comma b, so just differentiate. So this is 8x, right? 8x plus 2y y dash is equal to 0. So what is that, guys? X is uh, this is a. Replace x with a and y with b. So b y dash is equal to 0. So what is y dash? y dash is minus 4 upon b. Right? And these two are perpendicular. These two are perpendicular. So product here. What is the product? The product here will be equal to m into this. So 8 a upon b is equal to minus 1. Slope here minus 2. So minus 2 multiplied by this thing which is 8a by b is equal to minus 1. So using 1 and 2 you can solve it and you will have your answer as 2 upon root 70. Moving on to next question. <coughs> so if an ellipse with center at the origin, uh, the difference of the length of major axis and minor axis is 10. Difference of the length of major axis is 10. And one of the focus is at 0, 0,5 root 3. Okay. See, difference of the length of major axis and minor axis. So, guys, here you can see focus is on y axis, right? So, here we have 2b minus 2a is equal to 10 given. This is the kind of ellipse we are dealing with. Okay. Focus is given 0, 0,5 root 3. 0, 0,5 root 3 is the focus. Okay. Length of lattice rectum. So that will be 2a square by b. Length of lattice rectum will be this lattice rectum. This is a vertical ellipse. So it will be 2a square upon b will be the length. So we have b minus a equal to 5. Okay, this is one relation. Then b into e, right? 0, comma b is the focus. So what is b into e? b into e is 5 root 3 b into e is 5 root 3 right so this is a vertical ellipse right so for vertical ellipse the if you use the relations right what we have here we have b we have uh, a square so we'll have b square equal to a square minus a square e square right i think opposite for vertical ellipse we'll have a square equal to b square minus b square e square correct so from here guys from here like what do we have b square b square minus a square is equal to b square e square what is that 75 so b minus a into b plus a is 75 now b minus a is 5 so use it here 5 so b plus a will be equal to how much 50 now using 1 and 2 Using 1 and 2, you can see 2b is equal to 20. So, b will be equal to 10 and a will be equal to 5. What is length of lattice rectum? Length of lattice rectum will be 2a square by b. 2a square will be 25. b is 10 here. So, 5, 2, length will be 5. And that is what we have answered as. Okay. So, this was also a direct problem. 
you have one vertical ellipse it's like you are only using results from vertical ellipse as it is that's all moving to next question now so the question if the tangent to the parabola at point alpha comma beta is also tangent to the ellipse then alpha is equal to okay so we have to find out common tangent point of contact fine so this is the parabola right so for parabola we have y is equal to mx plus a by m 1 by 4m for this right y square equal to 4x so mx plus a by m for this for this right this is tangent to this also so for this ellipse if we write tangent guys what is it this is y is equal to mx plus minus a square m square so a square is 1 m square plus b square what is b square 1 by 2 these two will be equal m square plus 1 by 2 will be equal to 1 upon 4m let's square both the sides so m square plus 1 by 2 will be equal to 1 upon 16 m square right you solve it for slope m we'll just multiply it like 16 m power 4 right plus this will be 8 m square minus 1 equal to 0 now clearly this is what this is what this 16 m power 4 uh, 8 m square minus 1 equal to 0 so we have to find out this uh, point of contact right the point of contact so can we find out m from here what is m like m square will be equal to minus b plus minus b square which is 80 right here this is 80 b square will be b square is 64 b square minus 4ac so this is 2 root 64 not 80 b square minus b plus b square is 64 minus 4ac so plus 64 so 2 into 64 so 8 into root 2 divided by 2a 32 this is m square value right minus will be rejected because m square cannot be negative so minus 1 got rejected right divided by 2a so m square is equal to how much m square is equal to how much m square is equal to this is 8 will cancel out so root 2 uh, this is root 2 m square is equal to root 2 minus 1 divided by 4 right m square is coming out to be root 2 minus 1 divided by 4 now alpha is equal to okay we have to find out point of contact guys so what will be point of contact see point of contact is like if you compare if you compare y is equal to uh, tx y plus tx so basically a t square what is point of contact yeah so point of contact point of contact is a t square so t is 1 by m so a t square is uh, a by m square right 2 a t so 2 a by m this will be the point of contact guys a by m square to a by m so we have to find out alpha so that alpha is a by m square alpha is a by m square so what is a a is 1 by 4 and m square we have calculated m square is root 2 minus 1 by 4 so this will cancel out if you rationalize it it will be root 2 plus 1 that's it this is the answer guys and you see this was the problem of common tangent but some students they might get this panic attack sir after this step sir m square is coming out to be equal to this now what to do so if you have if you had courage to write one more step which is the point of contact your life will be easy right what i have used here this is at square comma 2a by t and relation between parameter of uh, any point in parabola and slope is t equal to 1 upon m that is why i am selling saying that these all things are important you have to remember everything otherwise you will always struggle in conic moving on guys so the line x minus 2 equal to 12 is a tangent to the ellipse at the point then the length of the letter sectum see guys so this is almost same problem so i'm leaving up to you as a homework problem now solve it on your own almost same question you have two equation two variable the tangent uh, and normal to the ellipse at point 2 comma 2 meets the x-axis at q and r Okay, this is Q. 
is tangent and normal to the ellipse 3x square 5 square at point 2 comma 2 okay meets x axis uh, at q and r so okay so let's say this is point 2 comma 2 this is q this is normal this is a tangent so meets at q and r okay then we have to find out area of triangle pqr what is p p is that point of contact 2 comma 2 so if you can find out like if you can find out this uh, this equation of tangent and normal then we can easily figure out vertex r and q and you will have everything that you want tangent is pretty easy guys what is tangent tangent is 3 into x into x1 2 plus 5 into y square is y into y1 2 is equal to 32 so this is the tangent what is it 3x plus 5y is equal to 16 now tangent this point q what is will be this point q guys what is this point q this point q for point q for point q will put y equal to 0 what is it x equal to 16 by 3 so we got point q which is 16 by 3 comma 0 right now normal intersects at whatever point r so what is this point r now the equation of normal if i if i want now what is slope here now i can write equation of normal directly y minus 2 is equal to slope here is minus 3 by 5 it will be 5 by 3 right this is minus 3 by 5 so it is 5 by 3 into x minus 2 so to get this point r i need to put to get this point r guys i need to put what again y equal to 0 put y equal to 0 what is x what is x x is equal to minus 6 by 5 plus 2 so it is 4 by 5 right so this is 4 by 5 comma 0 so that's it you have all the vertices pqr you can find out area very comfortably and the area will come out to be 68 by 15 area will be 68 by 15 okay and this also it is just writing normal and tangent that's all moving on to next one so let the length of the lattice rectum of an ellipse with its major axis along x axis center of the origin be 8 okay length of the lattice rectum so 2b square by a is equal to 8 fine distance between the focus of the ellipse is equal to distance between the focus of the ellipse is equal to length of its minor axis which is 2b which is b minor axis b right length of if the distance between the focus of the ellipse is equal to length of this uh, uh, minor axis which of the following points lie on it okay so we just have to find out a and b right the so 2a is 8 a is b so b square right so b square is equal to 8 and 2 a into a is equal to b so we have 4 a square e square equal to b square right so 4 a square e square equal to b square is how much a square minus a square e square so 5 times this is 5 times uh, a square e square is equal to a square correct this 4 a square e square b square a square e minus a square e square so we have e equal to 1 upon root 5 right we got e equal to 1 upon root 5 so we'll have b also we'll get b also we have got e so guys if we have got e now from here from here right so this b square will be equal to 4a so b square will be equal to a square minus a square e square equal to 4a right so a square e square was how much a square e square was equal to a square by 5 this is a square by 5 equal to 4a so we have guys clearly a equal to 5 so we got a equal to 5 e is equal to 1 by root 5 so what is b so b square will be equal to 
ए स्क्वायर माइनस माइनस ए स्क्वायर ई स्क्वायर सो ए स्क्वायर ई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर बाई फाइव ए स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर हाउ मच ए इज फाइव सो ट्वेंटी दिस इज फाइव ट्वेंटी दैट्स ऑल वी हैव द इक्वेशन नाउ इक्वेशन ऑफ द लिप्स एक्स स्क्वायर बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वाई स्क्वायर बाई ट्वेंटी इक्वल टू वन दैट्स इट दैट इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लिप्स सो लाइव सो जस्ट चेक दिस इज सिक्सटीन ओके तो सिक्सटीन इंटू थ्री और दिस इज फोर्टी एट ओके फोर्टी एट बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस चेक फोर्टी एट बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस दिस इज टू रू टू एट एट बाई ट्वेंटी तो विल इट सैटिस्फाई लेस चेक लेस चेक सो इज इट सैटिस्फाइंग आई डोंट थिंक सो राइट दिस इज वी फोर टेन I think there is some calculation mistake, guys. Let me check. I think there is some calculation error. Let me check what calculation is there. Which is the following fine line? The length of the lattice rectum along x-axis. Yeah. B eight. So two B square is eight. Fine. So B square is four a. This is correct. B square is equal to four a. This is correct. The distance between the focus of this ellipse is equal to the length of its minor axis. Okay, guys. So this is the mistake that we have done. This is the mistake. This was two b, right? So this is the mistake we committed. Okay. This is the mistake we have done. That it is given equal to minor axis, not semi minor. So it is not b. It is equal to two b. It will two. So we have a into e equal to b here. So a square e square is equal to b square. So a square e square will be equal to a square minus a square e square. So clearly from here we can see this is two a square. So e square is one by two. So e will be one by root two. So we'll have value of e from here. Once we get e, then we can find out like from here we can find out uh, a and b also. If e is one upon root two. So we have a into one by root two is equal to b, right? From this, so we square both the sides. So a square is equal to two b square. So a square equal to twice. So what is b square? B square is four a, right? So from here it will cancel out. So a is equal to eight. So a is eight, and if a is eight, guys, so b will be equal to how much? This is uh, a is eight. Then in four thirty two, b will be equal to root thirty two. B square will be equal to thirty two. B square is equal to thirty two. So ellipse equation will be x square by sixty four plus y square by thirty two equal to one. And that if you put points, guys, if you put points, you see sixty forty eight, forty eight by sixty four, right? That is forty-eight by sixty-four plus. This is two root two eight by thirty-two. Eight by thirty-two. So is it now? So sixteen. This is sixteen three. Right. It is satisfying now. It is correct. So this is the point. So that's it. Using this info, you have to find out relation between A B and you have to find out eccentricity. That is all. Moving on. So S and S dash with the focus of an ellipse and B any extremities of its minor axis, right angle triangle. Okay, let's draw the diagram. What is it? S and S dash with the focus of an ellipse. Okay. And B with the one of the extremities of its minor axis. So let's say this is B. If S dash B is a right angle triangle with right angle at B, fine. This is right angle triangle, guys. Then area of this is eight square units. Then the length of lattice rectum, guys. It's very simple. See again. See, this is what is equal length. So these two will be also equal, right? These two will be also equal. So what we can say from here, right? What we can say from here that we have S B plus S dash B is equal to as two A, right? Two A. 
this is s b plus s dash b is equal to two a. Okay, and area of this triangle, guys. So if this is two now, these two are equal. These two are equal. S b and s dash b are equal. So we have s b is equal to two a. Right? Only a. Sorry, only a. It's only a. S b length will be equal to only a. So, so area is given eight square units. So eight is equal to half of this into this, which is a square. So this cancels out four. A square is four. A is equal to two. We got value of a. So now that we have value of a, okay. Now that we have value of a, so we can find out everything now. You see, what is this distance? This distance. This is a square plus a square. Right. This is a. This is a. So a square plus a square is equal to this. S is dash is two a e. So two a e square. Right. So we have two a square is equal to four times. A square e square, four times a square e square. So a square gets cancelled out. So we have e equal to one by root. Two. So we have value of a, we have value of e. We want lattice rectum. So we want lattice rectum. So guys, we need to find out b also. So b square will be equal to a square, a square minus a square e square, which is two. So length of lattice rectum will be equal to two. B square by A, A is how much two? So answer will be two. You see, this is the answer. Okay, I think again we did some calculation error. Half of A square. So okay, guys, this again I did some calculation error here. Let me correct it. Like if you correct it there, guys, you see. So, S B length is A. So both the lengths will be equal to A. Now area is eight, so that is equal to half of A into A, A square. So A will be equal to four. So now that we have A equal to four, we have this A square plus A square equal to S S dash is two A E square. So A square plus A square, so two A square. Is equal to four times a square e square. This will cancel out. This is two. So guys, we got eccentricity one upon root two. So now that we have e, we can find out b also. B square is equal to a square sixteen minus a square e square. So eight. That is eight. So length of lattice rectum will be equal to two b square by a. So two b square is eight, and a is how much? A is four. So answer will be four. That's it. So simple calculation here. What you needed to keep in mind that once you have said that this is right angle. Now when you say that this is right angle, guys. Now these two will be of equal length. Why? Because these two are equal. Fine. Out of symmetry, these two will be equal. So once they are equal, the calculation becomes very very easy. So now rest all problem, guys. I am leaving up to you because the problems are all these problems. All these problems are what? Exactly based on what we have been doing, and the problems are super super easy. All these questions, I am leaving up to you. All these questions, I am going to leave it up to you. What you have to do, you have to finish all these questions on your own, and and and. One more thing that I want to tell you, that the next lecture will be of uh, hyperbola, and in hyperbola, in hyperbola we are going to uh, cover everything. Uh, from starting theory part, like all these things, including asymptotes also. Like some students have no idea about asymptotes concept. Uh, 